Hi, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, episode five. Okay, so what happened last time was we have everything set up to break into Fort Mercer. Seth is ready. I don't know what he's going to do, but he's ready. Irish is ready. He has the machine gun. And Wes Dickens is going to get his cart all fixed up. And I think that's what we're probably going to do is we're going to be inside the cart and sneak in or something. Okay. Um, so I think the next couple of missions should be us being able to confront Bill, break into Fort Mercer. So I guess we'll just see where the game takes yeah. us. Our boo looks like Mr. Marshall is the only quest we can do. All right. Okay, let's give her a try. Okay, we're gonna do a little. Fa oh, uh, wrong button. A little fast travel. Oh, and someone told me that um, the treasure maps. Once you finish one, you immediately get another one to do. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay, travel to. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, wait one second. I have to select where I want to go first. That would help. It would, wouldn't it? Where is it? Look at that. Look, what is this? Who are you to judge? Funny man. Oh, we know funny man. I wonder what, who, you, who are you to judge? Huh. Okay, anyways. Oh, the marshal's already at Fort Mercer. He's ready to kick some ass. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and we're going to let him kick some ass, aren't we? Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go. There she is. So it seems. It does indeed, doesn't it? Faster. Oh, we're meeting on the hill. Let's go. This is where all the good business goes on. Oh, is it? Yeah. Come. I wasn't oh. aware. Mm-hmm. They teach you that in business. Oh. Except for whenever I almost take my horse off the cliff. Yes, not good. Mm -mm. Okay. Here we go. Where is everybody? I don't know. It's a good question. Oh, they're there. Okay, give them a minute. Yeah, Got I guess. Marshal. Gentlemen. <clears throat> uh huh. Uh, uh, Irish getting uh, in trouble. <laughs> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Curious. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law. When the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride All right, are we and gonna his kill Bill here? Yes, I think so. I'm gonna go with no, I don't think we will. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like he's gonna get away somehow. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm hmm. Just because, like, if we get him, then what do we do? You know, because the whole point of John Escuts being here is to get him. Back sure. wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Yeah, that's a gun. Yes. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. Yes, that sir. That scoundrel Seth has better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What right. signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? That's it's just what I want to hear. Yeah. Back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. 
Why is he taking the lead? Um, he's just getting us in, like, to Fort Mercer. Okay. Yeah. Hey, yo! Hey there! <laughs> Come on How is he in, driving Tony. backwards? Welcome to my humble Good abode! Question. Greetings, my good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can Keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness I don't like to the, the whole way system. Vigor. Why, mm -hmm. some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> We're getting right into it. What the okay. Hell? What the hell? <laughs> Seth just having party. Yes. <laughs> it's crazy ass. Oh, Whoa, guys! Holy fucking shit! Oh my god, I'm about to die! Oh my god! Holy moly! Easy, easy does it, y'all, right? Can we, can we set him up a little bit? Oh, nice. I don't know if I did that, but... Yeah, how many are there? Really? Yeah. Where are y'all hiding? Oh! Did, what the hell? What the hell was that? I don't know. I don't even know who's shooting me from where. Oh, okay, over here, over here. Oh my god, someone's really shooting me. And I'm I see that. The oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen over here. Please stop. So many people, this is crazy. Yeah, they are. Hey, how about you guys cut it out, shall we? Please. Be nice. Thank you. Who else? Who else? Someone over here? Oh, hello, mister. Okay. Nice. Come on, Mr. Marshall. Fuck a dang pig. Them cock sucking some bitches escaped the other side oh of the fort. Put them out. Let's yes. go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just going to, you know, run around and get some ammo and such. I won't lose anyone, don't worry. Okay, good, I got my repeater. Or not, not my repeater. Yeah, my repeater, right? I guess he's... I think my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. No, no, no. Bye, Wes Dickens. Bless you. Move Thank you, Mama. Forward. Oh, move forward, okay. No, wait, I want my... Oh, I'm so sneaky. Nearly shot. I don't see any walls over here. Oh, oh, there he is. Okay. Hey, 
Y'all need to chill. Oh my good lord! Oh, I'm just gonna have to blow this up. Isn't that PT? Yeah. Yep. I don't know if that actually killed anyone, but I figured it'd be cool, you know? Yeah. It was. Last guy. Oh, they got him! They don't even need me. Damn. What a jump. I know, that was kind of like cool, you know? I think so. Kind of. Kind of cool. That's the last Good job, time. everybody. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! General Adam, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh, Get the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh god, is he playing us? Uh-oh. Hope not. Oh, we've got company, gentlemen! Oh, okay. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way! Oh my good lord above! There must be a hundred No way! Here they come. Oh, they magically. Oh, I guess the gun was always out here. Sorry, I'm just talking to them. I don't want to shoot the horses. Can you guys get off your horses, please? <laughs> That would be convenient. Yes. Oh my god! Horse, are you okay? Oh my god, he's dead. Oh my god, those guys. Guys! Oh, you got this guy? Is just one. Person here. Damn. Blew his head off. Yes, I did. Whatever I did must have been mind blowing. Oh, dun 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 dun. dun. We did it, boys! I don't know if that was a hundred, but I wouldn't here. say that was a hundred. We looked everywhere. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on, I Marcy. <laughs> Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. Oh. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh. Okay, fine, I'll tell you. Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. That's <laughs> bandit country. Shut up, bitch. Super feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. Uh, I'm real popular down there. No. You just I... meet me at the ferry. Are you really? I've got I lots of friends. I can't believe that. Down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. Damn, they're beating the shit out of me. Yeah, they are. Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. Oh my God! May you guy. always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. Can't say you the too, same. Mr. West Dickens. Exactly. Marshall. All right, boys. That's enough. It's more than enough. Yeah. I mean, I know he's like you know, maybe, like I know that Will's gang isn't the best people, but no. That being said, they do rape and murder people for That's fun. That's true. So he deserved it after all. Alrighty. Fifty dollars. I'm rich. And look, look at this. The only quest we can do is to go see Irish. 
But we should probably, don't you think we should do these little side quests first? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I need to go to a tumbleweed. May I do a little camp? Please no, do. I cannot. Oh, you can't? I, well, I can, but once, let me, let me just see what these guys got since they're in my way, you know, might as well. May as well. Rest in peace, my friend. Look, he said, rest in peace, my friend. You think he was being mean? No. For once, I think not. Gonna go see Javier. Didn't even think he was gonna be in this game, so that's pretty cool. So sorry. Poor horse. No, I'm sorry. Oh my god, skin animal. I will do no such thing. Someone did tell me horse meat is very... Um, oh, I have to keep running. Um, sells for a lot of money in this game. Yeah, but who wants to skin a horse? I know, that's how I feel. We're building money other ways. Yes, we are. Or whatever. I know sure. oh, that was somebody else on a horse, wasn't it? That was my horse just running past me. <laughs> Come on, where are, girl, get off the fucking side of a hill. Okay. You are ridiculous. Yeah. And we love that. Yes. Oh, what? What? Excuse me? Kill the criminals in town? What? Already shot in the chest. Wait, why do I have to kill the criminals in town? Oh, shit. Can, I get, can I get off my horse? Honey, you need to leave. What's happening right now? Jesus! This is crazy, y'all. in this house next to me. They're not aiming at me, so. But why, why does it want me to, what, what does it want me to do, you know? Yeah. What are you doing in here, mister? Oh, oh. Okay, uh, let me in the door! Where is this guy? Oh my gosh, how did I miss you? You didn't now. Shoot him. Oh, right there. There's a man what? hanging. Holy crap, what's going on here? You're done in this town, mister. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Or I'll kill you. How about that? How about that? How about them apples? Oh, sorry. You? No, not him. Hello. Well, damn it, I wish I would have cut you free earlier. This is crazy. What are the other Thanks, partner. This gang just won't get the message. Could sure use a hand clearing them out. Come on! The whole place is still chock full of the sons of bitches. There's only a couple left. Keep shooting. You just said there was full Come of sons of bitches. Yeah, you did. So, what's the truth, mister? Make up your mind. Excuse me. Kill the criminals around the mansion. Can I cut this guy down? I feel bad he's up here. I guess not. Darn it! Hi. That looks like everyone. Is... Oh, let's what head up to the mansion. And Maybe finish. not. I don't know. It won't let me. I don't know. They got the high ground and plenty of cover up at the house. Be careful, partner. You be careful, partner. Okay, he wants me to go to the basement, so I will. You guys are done in this town. Oh, 
And bye. Okay, turn to the sheriff. This was interesting. Yeah. And random. Rather easy, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I have to ask since I'm not doing it right <laughs> now. I sure appreciate all the help, partner. It won't be forgotten. I promise well, you that. You're welcome. Tumbleweed complete. Oh, okay. So does that mean that like now it's clear there's no more enemies? I guess so. Okay. Well, this is not even why I was here. Is it? Wait, is this why I was here? Was that the quest I needed to do? No. So why don't we do what we were here to do? How about yeah, that? good idea. Run! Horse missing as usual. Your horse likes to explore. She likes to ignore me, yeah. It's one of her hobbies, actually. Okay. Damn. She's like, stop being mean to me. Please. Please. Alright, who am I to judge? Let's figure out if I am one to judge. Oh, this is the lady that was missing or something. Oh, oh. yeah. yeah such a sweet sugar. I forgot about this. What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I seen him at Rascaler Fork. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about oh. a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave sales medals. Like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. <laughs> short black hair, mustache. <laughs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on then. All right, really? Me. Wow, I'm shocked she's just gonna let him. Back to, okay, you're not even gonna tell me where the hell it is? I don't know where this frickin' place is. Oh, here, here. Who are you, Judge? Okay. All right, ma'am, come with me. Come on. Yeah, get on the road. Do we have a ways to go? Oh, uh, it didn't look too far away. I'm sorry, but really, why would she just be, like, she's so willing to just give it back? It was that easy? I know. will meet with you. Oh, okay. I'm going too fast. Oh, so sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I won't go too fast anymore. Follow me. Yeah, that's how you have conversation, isn't it? <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face, oh, mister. Okay, you're right. I bet you thought you was being a real hero. I should never have listened to that crazy fool. Mercy mission. Huh. So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No, miss. I was just helping him out. Well, ain't you the sweetest thing? I'm married. I'm just like you. A real sweetheart. Come on! I gotta ask, mister. Didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? Most people out here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. <laughs> he got you good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. Yeah. I didn't know if we were gonna talk anymore, so I guess I'll just keep riding. Reunite Jeb and Lucy. Hello. Sir, you better move. You're about to get hit. Yeah. Watch out, dog. She will hit you. Yes, I will. <laughs> Mister. Mister, you found her, mister! Mm. Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. Oh I long to hold you. I missed you so much. 
You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. What? Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. I don't even want to ask. Yeah. What that meant. Okay. I feel like I should steal this horse to save her. To save her? The horse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not same. Now I guess we gotta go see our man Ollie Rish. Our missions are going so quick today. Yeah, they are. So we gotta go. Oh! Stranger at McFarland's Ranch. Okay, well, we gotta go to McFarland's Ranch anyway so that we can, um,. So that we can like walk down to the ferry, so that's wonderful. Perfect. See Bonnie. I don't think so. Bonnie hates us now. You think so? Yep. She says you're nothing but trouble, Mister. Wow. And I'm like, well, he kind of is. Hmm. That's weird. You just said that. Travel to a point. All right, Irish. What are we doing, eh? <laughs> yes, well, that's what oh, makes you such an interesting us? fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. You How shouldn't are have. you, sir? <laughs> I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at. I don't Should believe you. So, you. so you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. We're about to go to Borma again. Yeah. Come on then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever no. done you wrong? Uh, no. But not through the lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> uh. Try not to get yourself killed. <laughs> oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. <laughs> the same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> All right. Here we go, I guess. I guess so. Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. Yeah. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with you. <laughs> At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruining the world. <laughs> well, you're here now. Shite, nice. somebody doesn't like us. Cut the rope, Irish. We'll see the here. Oh, my good lord. Right the river out. No one to land till we're well away from this bastard. Quick, grab that shooter at the back of the raft. We're standing some ammunition near the back of the raft. Grab it, you know. Get the hell away from me! For the love of God! I believe Irish hasn't been shot. I know, seriously. I'd give up now if I was you! Keep your eyes peeled. They're all along the bay. Okay. Oh, oh this is gonna end! That was silly. What did he kill? Sir, please don't. 
You have to die for your mistakes. Yes. We just started this trip. How are we already you in so much trouble? Oh shit! I'm gonna try to fucking close on you, piece of shit! Fuck you! No! Oh god. Damn! Did you shoot him? Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. I didn't see that. I'm just so quick. Yeah, you are. You, better, you guys better not fucking try to do anything else. Do not try to fucking do anything. Stop it. Oh, no, it just fucking, I just, it just made me shoot a bird out of the air. Oh. This ain't exactly the reception I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. What the hell did you do to these fellas? Oh, he's dead. Right there. Come on. Oh, yes. Can I do it? I don't exactly understand how dead I works, to be honest. Oh, both of the rocks protected these guys. Oh, man. That sucks. Okay, now let's see. Can we get it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, nice. Let's try it again. Oh, I think I'm out of dead eye. Someone back there. There you are. I know you are. go out of it pissing your pants. Jeez Louise, Irish, thanks for freaking coming with when everyone hates you. Funny had a way with people down here. This is mm -hmm. the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. Lassies do. Oh, that big brown eyes. <laughs> Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that funky? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato. The cat. Oh, what a God, El Rato. Funny. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. <laughs> I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Now we wait. Can we, we make this thing John, a faster? John's dancing with the A-A. They're still coming! Behind that big oh, rope! Okay. Oh, don't fall in the water, John. and they're already trying to kill me. Can you die, please? Jeez. Ah! Oh, okay. I understand now. Crazy. Yeah, that was. Looks like he jumped. He literally blew him away. Thank you. You're welcome. I actually do have that effect. I can see that. One thing I do like, I, I miss about Red Dead, obviously, too, I know that that game came after this one, but um, I miss that, like, the X's, like, whenever it would tell you you hit somebody. Oh, yes. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so happy. 
No way. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, I'm so happy we didn't die. Yeah, no doubt. That was close. It was. Too close for comfort. Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Stop it. Guys, I'm not ready to die! Don't fucking kill me! Jesus! So many of them. I know. It's insane. There's someone here, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there we go. Now that I know how to use it. Good. You're all falling in the water. I know, seriously. John's got a case of the wiggle worms. Oh yeah, we got zoomies. I have missed these escapades, Johnny boy. I really will. Aww. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. I see that. The current should put us ashore up ahead. Noise. Heads up! There's two more! Can you shoot, John? Would you like to do that? What's going on? Thank you very much. You want more? I've heard it yet. Back the head down! We made it! Thanks a lot. We're going to be getting out that boat in death trap. Oh, these horses look fresher! <laughs> And healthy. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Before you these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. That horse of looking course, scary. of course. Let me think. I wonder what that was you about. You do know people down know. here. Aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, I saw him shoot a man. Drink with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? Oh, God. No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny. But he's real nice. Not funny. Uh, Dad, mm -hmm. you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Or was it four card Monty? I forget. Oh my God. <laughs> he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> We're in good hands. Well, yeah, sounds like it. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a black ugly man, but not a bad one. <laughs> okay. Put this green stuff back here. Oh, my boat's leaving somehow. The current took it away. It did! You can make use of Irish shack. Oh, good. Okay, good. God, why did it zoom in on his face like that? I don't that? know. That's funny. Okay. Oh, new items available. Okay, let's look at the map. Okay. Where is his cabin? Oh my gosh, all the way over here? Okay, so... Oh, we have a few! Few things we can do, okay. All right, so... We have... Landon Ricketts... In De Santa. Okay. What do who, you want to do? Who are we closest to? Uh, definitely Ricketts. Okay, let's do that first. Okay. Oh my God, that's a long ride. Okay, but we'll. You want to just ride normal since uh, we're in a new area? What's the option? I. I mean, I, we could fast travel, but I figure we'd. Oh yeah. Do something interesting. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh. Go. 
excited to see Javier. If we get to see him. I'm here! Yep. I need to think I'm here. Oh, maybe not. Got a little abandoned house. Take a little look-see. This place is deserted. This place is deserted. Thank you, John. Good eye. <laughs> oh, what's this say? You think you tough, mister? Oh, I'm scared. I hope I'm tough. Listen, I don't want to rub nobody the wrong way. We found $14. Yeah. Hey, gringo! Hablas español? No. No, sir. Sorry. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo. Slippery little Mexican, oh. no, little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm? could you do to us exactly? <laughs> oh, don't ask. Freaking, Nothing, amigo. Like, no, I appreciate like, the welcome, I got like lady. a pain in my side. It scared Did me. But I'd hate to yeah. spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, gringo. I think you're forgetting something. Mm. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> <Pretty big. laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> uh -oh. Give me my hat back. Can I see the boots, gringo? No way. I think you can see him from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> yeah, give him a hat back. Nice job. Oh, very oh, good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. What were they supposed to do? Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. You could have helped out a little I bit. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. What? And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful.
Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. I was gonna say, that kind of sounds familiar. It means a little. He does. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a with Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, <sighs> just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. I you gotta keep that out. back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now, that's a real gun. Carajo, <laughs> gringo! Let's try one more time. What am I doing? Remember what I told you. I'm not gonna look well, maybe this. Okay. Now that is bad bad. Follow me. Nice work. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. Oh, John's excited. John can shoot. We don't have to question that. No, he, yeah, I know. I'm like shocked that it's like acting like he's bad. And know? then it's surprising. I'm here always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Tuberosa. Ain't we gonna spook the town folk with all this shooting? Here we'll do. Oh. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if okay. you can take down more than one at a time. Uh -uh. Holy moly. Fucking hell. How about this? I'm scared. Oh. Boom. Boom. Let me get that guy again, because he's gonna I don't wanna hurt him. Nice. How you like them apples? Pretty good. Sorry. Oh. Oh, well, let me come on, let's get this one too. Down they go. What? Who's screaming? Are you coming? I'd like to pretend I'm a busy man. Uh, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Hi, Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor hey. Ricketts, Senor Ricketts, por favor, Senor. Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. Somehow my horse is here. That's great. That's awesome. I guess he traveled by boat also. I guess. Yeah, can you imagine my little guy just um, standing on a raft? Yes. Over. We ride together. We was all friends by himself. Only a buzzard feeds on his So sad, Brown. There must be a high bounty on their head. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? Okay, we're here. There they are. Follow me. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. 
Oh, am I supposed to get on the horse? Oh. Sorry. It had to happen, I guess. Wagon driver died. Try, try, try again. Damn, really loading a while. On, yeah, it is. Need me. Okay. Let's go. Oops, that guy just got hit. Are you alright? Just a bit of pain in the knees. Damned horse. It's a terrible thing, you know, getting old. One day you catch a glimpse of yourself, you ain't the same person no more. Your looks have gone, your back hurts, and your pecker isn't working like it's supposed to. See, the Damn. problem with old age is, just when you start to understand life, you're too long in the tooth to enjoy it. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Keep your distance and use dead eye. Okay, so maybe I should have, you know, read a little bit better. Nice job. Yay! Alright, let's move out. Everybody oh. stay alert. Okay, let's move out. We're moving out! Got five dollars. Woo! Let's go! I'm rich! It adds up. It does. I was just being silly. Yes, sure. Sorry. Not allowed. I know. Not allowed. Do we know who's driving this? Please, what do you mean? This is. Oh, jeez. Let me use my dead eye skills. <laughs> Boom! Beat shooting birds, doesn't it? Good work, boys. Now let's get this wacky backward. You know, I do what I can, so really. I know you do. Beer, yeah. Mr. Rickett. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not going to stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Damn right they don't, my sarcastic little apprentice. <laughs> That's me. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Nice. Woo! Okay, Mama. So. Would you like to go meet a new character? This person? DeSanta? Or would you like to... Is it just these two? Yes. And then, or go see this guy again. Let's go see the new person. Okay, sounds good. And then we could buy some property while we're here. Oh, cool. You want to? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's go. Let's buy a little house. A vacation home. Yeah, so yes, exactly. It looks like we'll be hanging out with our man Landon a little bit more, so this is perfect. Here we go. Oh. Is this um, where the ladies of the night work? A brothel? I think so. Purchase. I just. Uh, it's two hundred dollars. I just I like clicked it before I even looked oh, at the no. price. Well, it's pretty nice. It, honestly, I was gonna say it's the nicest room we have. Yeah, it is. Wow! Holy moly! Do I have any new outfits we can try on? Hello, sir. Where do you change your outfits? Here, maybe? Oh, here we go. Yeah, open drawer. Oh! I just got some ammo. That was cool. Nice. So how do you change your outfit? Oh, I think you go to the bed, right? Yes, okay. Okay, let's see if we have anything new. Okay, that's our fancy one. Search. Oh, this one! Oh, okay. So Deadly Assassin, we just need to search Coots Chapel, complete Twin Rocks hideout, capture or kill Mo Van Bar. This one we don't even know. Walton's Gang, search Thieves Landing. So a lot of these. A lot. This is the one we just unlocked that we could do here. Search Sidewinder Gulch, 
complete a night watch job, Com defeat all players in a round of liars dice. Oh, okay. Claim a bandit bounty alive. Defend the residents of um, Me of Mexico from bandit attacks. Purchase at the general store. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go. Excuse me, ma'am. I love your outfit. You look so cute and yellow. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Keats what he was thinking. Well, he's respectful. He would never, you know, think about another yes. woman in that way. When he has Abigail, right, Mom? That's true. No, we haven't seen Abigail in oh, 100 geez. years. I know, seriously. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, driving around like a drunk monkey. What else is new? I think I went the wrong way. Let's go. What is something going on? What's happening right now? What's happening? Is oh, what? Oh, you guys, wait, I'm doing, I did something bad? Yep. Damn, what just happened to me? Wait, I'm not really sure I understand what just happened. I guess you weren't supposed to get involved in that one. Maybe not. Cause it looked like they just shot civilians, you know? I know, they did. Let's try again. Sorry guys. I'll never do it again. That's cool. Alrighty, let's go. The Santa. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, oh, I'm already here. I'm already here. How about that? Nice. What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. So I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come eat, drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat. Destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you have heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. But it's tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> Such a happy kid. I was literally just thinking that he's so like, he like loves also, like being a server, I guess. Yeah. Sure. I wish I enjoy your freedoms. Mr. Marston, Look at him walking away smiling man, too. No, no. An American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the governor. Or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. 
They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Let's okay. do it. Vamos! We're just one drink gonna be for you. Yeah, maybe you take, the, take the edge, edge off. off? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, maybe. Oh, that's not a horse. Sorry, I thought it was. Brownie's yeah. like, eh. Mm. Brownie. Let's go! Oh! Follow me. We're headed for Super Rosa. Let's go! You did not expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like violent and oppression here. Words are the peasants have been taught, but do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Maybe. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. <laughs> you love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this. And I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Marston. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better? To pull your arm around a hungry man or to beat him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. This makes me want make Who are these animals reason. you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his For Mexican some reason, this is Bill Williams is a fellow I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know these men? We were friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you to sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel peace. Mexico is an easy place for a man to lose himself whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. They ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price. Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. This rebellion, it is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind there, Senor Mars. Lies. In serious lies. The peasants are stupid, and like cows, they can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose, in a twisted kind of way. Thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think 
that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're going to look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. The culos, whatever that is, the butt. I was thinking that too, their butt. Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes. Oh, He's a traitor. A liar, a coward, and a sinner, a hero who has done nothing. I have full more respect for the shit I looked this morning than I ever will for that pathetic war. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family, a man born in a golden cradle, who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of God course he is. All that bastard does is standing up by gold. That would be crazy. Mm -hmm. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Reyes wants power, nothing else. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He's prepared to destroy everything my compatriots have fought and died for, just to hear people shout his name. Surely not. Were you ever in an army? <laughs> no, sir. I was never in the army. I thought as much. You have the air of a man who knows little of loyalty. This well, 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 Archie. That's crazy. Jump to conclusions. Do you have a problem with authority, Senor Master? Yes. If you were in the position I am, you'd have a problem with it too. It's not far now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving Chuparosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. There are no supplies on it. Very clever. Now, we must throw the rats out of their holes. If there's some fate they can refuse. Come on! The train is waiting. Oh! Oh, sorry, back on the back on the train. I mean back on the bus. Okay, I'm ready. Come on! <sighs> there is a train. We must escort it to Casa Madrugada. Okay, let's go. Okay, let me make sure I got a good gun out. There we go. Now we're ready, y'all. Y'all ready for this? Yes. Da -na 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 -na. Why are we going so slow? I don't know. We don't want to get ahead of the train, you know. Right? I didn't know that. I'm just, you know. I'm just talking. Yeah, you are. Knew it. Didn't we, guys? We knew this was going to happen. Oh, my God. Can you auto-aim? Dynamite! Don't, don't. I can't tell if I got him or not. I think it did, yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, up here. Somehow I got ammo while I was riding that quickly. Nice. Yeah, pretty good. Take it how we can get it. Hell yeah. Oh, actually, I only have seven bullets left. Uh-oh. In this gun. So let me actually get out my revolver.
Okay. Mister? No! Did you shoot my horse, you jerk? Fucking stop it. Stop it. You piece of shit. Fuck you. Damn it! Are you guys okay up there? Look at this guy right here, actually. Someone get him! Oh my god, you guys! Okay, good. They got him. They got him. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Train engines at half health. It was more than that. Yeah. I mean, or no, under. That's what I mean. Sorry, sorry, you're right. <sighs> How do we increase the train health? Uh, I don't no, know if it's I don't. Hill. No, I don't think we do. I think it's just we have to be careful, yeah, with these guys. Oh my gosh! Shit! Yeah, it was. More? Okay. Gotta say, I forgot how awesome dead I was. I bet you did. Yep. Quite the luxury. It is. It really is. That's not fair. Bro, I better not have to fucking restart. Oh my god! Uh, oh good. Oh my god! Oh, She's dead! You have revive or is that number I don't two? think they fucking have that in this game. God fuck. Maybe you can steal somebody that you kill. Yeah, steal their horse, yeah. Fuck, I need to get out my fucking right repeater. Guys, we're killing. Oh fuck, the train's gonna fight. Shit. Look at this horse. Come here. I know I'm trying to fucking get into the ring. Shut up! Do not. Come on. Nice. Oh, not nice. Thank goodness we're done. Jesus Christ. Yay. Yay. Yeah, let's not kill Brownie again. That would be nice. Yes. There we go. We're here. Todo bien, compadre. Did a good thing for Mexico today. Please. Hey. It's all that matters. Yes, ma'am. Even if I die three times? Yes. Here we go. We're good. Oh, God.
¡Los rebeldes están robando el tren! Ah, ¡Levántese, perezoso, que lleva que le estoy pagando! Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and stop the train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía levántese. Ay, usted joder. también. Ay, y allá para muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Uno. Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ay. Ya mismo. I guess it's on its own. I think so. Okay, horse, don't leave. Come on, come on. Oh shit. Can I jump over this wall? Thank God. Where the fuck is this over there? Okay, I got it just in time. I can't believe John had to do this. I know. Holy freaking crap. John gets everything done. Mm-hmm. Good lord. John's like, I remember blowing up a bridge with my good old pal Arthur. Yep. Been there, done that. Oh, yeah. Nice. $50? Okay, not too shabby. Nope. Gotta build up from that $200. Oh, my horse can't find me. Yes, we do. Seriously. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's um, the wrong side. Dang, we're all the way over here now. Holy moly. Wow. Jeez Louise. Where's my horse? Okay. So we can either do another mission with that one guy, DeSanta, or we can do... um. One with the, uh, what's his name? Landon. Let's do Landon. Okay. Is it gonna let me fast travel if I don't have a horse? Fingers crossed. Yes. Fingers and toes. Yes. Okay, cool. I guess it will. Nice. I'm just gonna walk there. Yeah. That'd be nice. Well, you probably run the way you're hyper. Yeah, I was going to say, that still take like a couple days to run all that yeah. way. Well, no, maybe not a couple days. I don't know. Probably. Probably a couple days. I agree with myself. Yeah, you're probably right for yeah. once. Well. Oh, Brownie's here. Hey, girl. Just wait. Hey. Landon. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Oh. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Senor Escuela, is Javier to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacon, uh, Grande Americano? Yo no sé. No. Again, I got that. <laughs> but they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. Hi. 
I thought we were gonna play poker. Oh no, I don't think so. You can take the oh. train with me or ride Sorry, yourself. Mama. Makes no odds to me. We'll take the train. Company of Ricketts on the train. We'll ride. Right. You, you wanna sir. take the train? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, me too. Train rides are fun. That they are. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Oh geez, really? like that what? Perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? To some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Well, well maybe seems not. To know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. Take a seat. I think I will. Not a lot to say. Nope. Just like the beginning of the game. True. See if he listens in there by the conversation. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrigada and ride from there. Hope your horse is on the train. Yeah, seriously. Or riding next to it. You know, abandon me again. Yep. Yeah. I wonder if we end up talking. Oh no, I think it's the okay. You rest, don't worry about me. I'm too old to sleep. I'll wake you when you get there. Oh, okay. It's like a he's taking a little nap. Yes, nice. He needs it after all he's done. Yes, he does. Yeah, John hasn't slept in a few days. Mm -mm. We're here. John just has drool running down his face. <laughs> Come on, horses are over here. Well, that's convenient. Hi, honey. He's so cool. Look how slow he walks. I know. He's too cool for school. He is. Come on, first stop, I'm at the carol. Let's go. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask okay. around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Wow. Kind of sleepy, don't it? All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Is that a pig? Yeah, hanging by one little leg. Carlos, see, si. we're here for Luisa. She's still being held up in the caves. Yes, she's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. All right, let's find Luisa. Where are you going? I was just trying to get on the other side of him because I was pushed up against the rock. Oh. If that's okay with you. I guess. Yeah. If you have to. Thank you. Come on, gringo. No. How about that? How about that? Can you hurry the hell up down? Run down there. No rush. So now we wait. Yes, we do. Hey, hola. 
mal. ¿Qué quiere? No puedes estar aquí. Mucho Hace calor hoy. Bien bochornoso, ¿verdad? No lo voy a decir otra vez. Are you gonna kill him? No puedes estar aquí. Hey, ma they sound really mad at him. Yeah, they do. Pues trabajo en el matadero. No me importa quién eres. Esta es una zona militar prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. Mi hermana tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tus cerdos. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. That's our cue. Follow me, we'll shoot our way in there. Stop that! You're not covering me! Te voy a matar! I'm ahead of you! Go! Come on, get him! Keep at him, Marston. My lord. Come on. Right enough from that. That's it, partner. Get up here, Marston. Okay. He's demanding. What I'm right hell? here, sir. This doesn't look good. If you laid a finger on her. Oh fuck, don't shoot him, he's old. You wanna get Call yourself so Thank you. Close the door open. You keep guard. There'll be more on the way. I bet there will be. Let me get some <laughs> ammo. Oh, okay. Oh, they're here. Come on, just do it, please. You about to die, friend. Fuera, pelo. Just okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shot him right in the back. Had to take him down. Oh, I did. Thank you. For understanding. I'm gonna get the other guy too. Can you jump? Bring it back. I like that they just ran right past me like I yeah. didn't exist. Get behind the table. I'm gonna blow it. Okay, I'm not even over there, so you're good. Okay, I'll take the cover. Damn! That's wow, that's gonna be a big explosion. Yeah, it is, and they're just behind a table. Yeah. Stand back, damn it. Here goes. Oh my god, I hope that she also didn't get blown up. Okay, good. Come on, boy. Poor girl's barely alive. Aww. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. Let me get in the front. Oh. Oh, the shots probably didn't need all those. John, get him! I keep like accidentally crouching. Wonder why? Because it's that's one of the buttons you press when you're doing that. Close range, get him. Mm -hmm. Hurry, I'm pretty much doing as much as I can right now, dude. Woo! Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come that on! That was nice. Yeah, we'll take nice. this one. Looks like Nana. It does. So I picked her. Oh, okay. Oh good, I got 92. Jeez. 92. How do you, I don't know how you really get a new weapon, honestly. Oh, it's, oh, okay, good. 
How many shots do you have? Do you know? Oh, that's what I was saying. I'm 92. Oh, that's what 92 Nearly is. there. Nice. Um, excuse me. Who's shooting me? I don't even know. Oh, okay. Nice work. Thank you. If you can get it. If you can get it. Does it? There we go. Okay. Come on, come on. I, I'm accidentally making her jump. I don't mean oh. to. There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. I don't see him. Oh, hello. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Gasquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. She was in prison? I guess we'll keep looking. I guess. Yeah. Wow. Uh, he just grabbed a hold of her booty. I know. Right in front of us. Jeez. Oh, goodness gracious. Excuse me. We do. So sad. You were so mean to me. I know. Alright, let's go to our very nice home, shall we? I think so. Where is it? Here, right? Okay, I'm too zoomed in. Maybe not. Maybe it's here. Oh, it's here. This is it. House. Okay. Um, our honor is really good, Mom. I'm proud of us. Nice. Abigail's gonna wonder if we're ever coming back. I know, seriously. I'm wondering if we're ever going back. At least he's got a bunch of houses. Yeah, he's. Oh, we're or gonna rooms. be like. Yeah, that, we got property. How many? How much property? Three. I think three. Yeah. Yeah. One in Mexico. That's great. A nice one in Mexico. Yeah, seriously. I'm like Abigail. Come on know, down, clown. We're living the good life now. Okay, let's go to hell to bed. Even though it's freaking midday, but whatever. Hey, amigo, you want to make some money? Ven conmigo. Should I follow him or no? No, we're ending it here. Okay, then. Oh! Okay, John, stop being a, you know, a show off. <laughs> okay, you didn't need to do that. He's like, why did you just do that? I yeah. Don't, I don't know, good sir. That's my bedroom right there. If I can just get past you. Excuse me, guys. Thank you very much. And just like that, I'm going to bed. 
Good night. Say bye, John. Bye, John. Have a good night. You too. Well, I guess it's <gasps> James. He just, he did, it looked like he... Tipped his hat to us. Yep. All righty. Okay, so what was your favorite part? Um, the train and then okay. rescuing the lady. The train was definitely my lead. I mean, if I, maybe if I wouldn't have died twice. I mean, I, I think I liked it the first time, but yeah, yeah, third time around, I was like, all right, I'm not sick and tired of this damn train. Yeah. Um, but I really liked um, Saving the Lady also. Yeah. That was probably my favorite. I like this new guy, Landon Ricketts. Yeah. He's really cool. I can't remember if I remember him from Red Dead 2, like if we heard about him or something. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I yeah. can't believe we still haven't gotten Bill. Um, excited to maybe run into Javier. So, well, not run into. I guess we're going to be enemies when we meet. Yes. But, but yeah. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, listen. We'll call him when I record, okay? Okay. Sounds yeah. good. After we record. <laughs> Just push me ah! in. <laughs> Help me out a little, Mom. What are you doing? Pushing you backwards. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Dee Dee looks like a prisoner. I know. I love it. You love that she's a prisoner back I then? love that she's in the video. I know. Me too.